Dr. Kareem Shami is here now talking about a pivotal trial for invasive bladder cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us a little bit about the research. So patients with uh, bladder cancer that is no longer responding to BCG have very limited options. Uh, the standard of care for those patients would mean uh, they'd have to undergo surgical removal of the entire bladder and the surrounding organs. And so this is an unmet need. And so we uh, conducted this phase two, phase three trial to address this unmet need. And what were some of the results? So we enrolled uh, 83 patients in the trial, and these patients have had uh, prior BCG therapy. You know, they've had at least median, a mean number of doses was about 16 installations of BCG, and they failed BCG. And so what we did was we gave them a combination of BCG plus an IL-15 super agonist, which further stimulates the immune system to fight cancer. And what we found was that 71% of patients had resolution of their tumors. And if you follow these patients long enough, two years later, half of those patients that responded are still disease free. Wow, so what's the next step? So next step is obviously submitting the, the, the data to the FDA and hopefully get it approval and um, actually offer it to patients out in the lay community. Wow, so you don't see larger trials. You really believe that this is ready to go in patient practice. Absolutely, and so the FDA clearly sees this as a uh, disease that is that has um, very limited treatment options and the FDA will allow us to submit a study, a single arm study in this disease space. This sounds like a real game changer. It is, absolutely. It's a game changer for patients with bladder cancer and very limited options. So when you're here, you must be excited to talk about it because when you think about the population of physicians who could offer this to their patients, when prior to this they had to say, sorry, we have no options. Yeah, and so, you know, the, the options we've had were uh, patients who, the last time an FDA drug was approved prior to a couple years ago was 20 years ago, and the efficacy of that data was suboptimal. Two years ago, the FDA did approve another drug, um, systemic, but the data was not nearly as impressive as what we're finding with this combination. Were there any side effects that were really terribly detrimental for patients? Not at all. Only 3% of patients had to discontinue the drug, so it's very, very well tolerated. Sounds great. Thank you. A real step ahead. Thank you. Thank you.